Blog Talk Radio. in our very members, which is his temple, which is his house. Let us create that warm, sensational glow of intimacy with our God. Blessings and praise the Lord, and welcome to Fire, the gospel experience that is dedicated to honoring the true and only living creator God. Now, right now is the time, beloved, to let our minds bodies and souls be renewed and refreshed in our relationship with our great, wonderful, and magnificent God, our Father. And there are not enough words in the human language and vocabulary to express the gratitude, the great joy and appreciation for sending his son, our beautiful Prince of Peace, our wonderful Messiah and Redeemer, none other than the Lord Jesus the Christ right here on this fire gospel experience Jesus the Christ is unashamedly unapologetically as well as unequivocally declared to be the only redeemer is the only acceptable lamb of God he is the only chosen one with the keys of life death hell the grave and to our beautiful 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 gift of eternal life he is our only hope and light 
for this lost, dark, and dying world that you and I are living in. Blessings to you beautiful souls. I'm your purpose and power-driven host, Ron E. Jefferson. And I'm here to bring you the most uplifting spiritual soul inspirations as well as some of the most anointed gospel music that has ever been made and ever been played. Fire, fire, fire. The gospel experience will light, ignite, and fan those flames that's in your spirit, man, woman, boy, or girl, so that you can be that victorious believer in Jesus the Christ. Because, listen, God is not a respected person. He's just looking for a humble heart to worship and fellowship with him in spirit and in truth. For your spiritual consideration as well as your sanctified stimulation, we will be embracing from the Old Testament book of Isaiah 26 and 3, where we read the Old Testament prophet Isaiah is speaking about a time in the lives of believers individually and collectively where we will abide in perfect peace. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is in reference to the ancient times when Judah and Israel were both devastated by foreign invaders terrorizing and destroying and capturing the people as slaves. Lord, have mercy. The message of perfect peace does not always signify the absence of trouble, which ultimately we as believers will have eternally in heaven, but there is a heavenly gift of perfect peace even in the midst of our storms on our present day journey. We will be discussing for your sanctified consideration perfect peace later on in the broadcast. But I want y'all to know I have an awesome young anointed man of God that's here to share his testimony about God being the peace that is perfect in his life, the redeemer, the sustainer, gospel artist, man of God, Ron Summers is here. I want to thank my dear friend, Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity brother, brother in Christ, Sean Granger, for bringing this young man to this fire gospel experience because I just feel in my spirit he's going to bless our hearts. And I have his music to confirm every word that he testified. So go ahead and call a family member. I dare you to call somebody that's in your spirit right now and tell them that Brother Ron E. Jefferson is indeed blessed to be back on the airwaves to honor our God to the fullest, to the highest. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. And to bless each one of you listening to climb higher. Go further, go deeper into the everlasting well of God's precious grace, love, mercy, and love and kindness. We've already had prayer. Thank you, Holy Spirit God, for leading, guiding, and abiding in us, and for lighting the fuse that's about to set this internet and radio airwaves on Holy Ghost sanctified. Fire, fire, fire.
My God, my God, my God, he is able to do anything except that one thing, which is failure. He knows nothing about that, y'all. I promise you, they don't. Anything that is, that was, that ever will be, God has already been there, done that, and have come out 100% and beyond. Sounds of my special guest, man of God. Lord Jesus, he started that thing off just right, didn't he, y'all? Talking about God can. Lord, I am just so grateful for your eternal power and your everlasting love that allows us to bear witness of that truth that man of God, Ron Summers, just sang about that you can that you are, and that you are willing and available to make the impossible possible for us, to those who put our whole weight of confidence in you. This man of God is singer-songwriter. He is also from the charm city of Maryland, Baltimore. He is Ron Summers and Group Elements of Emmanuel Media Group my pleasure to bring this man of God to this fire gospel experience to bless us with our Holy Spirit God moves in his spirit as he sees fit. Ron Summers, y'all is here on this fire gospel experience and I'm glad about it. I am so glad, so glad. Welcome man of God, Ron Summers to fire the gospel experience. How you doing good brother? How you doing? Brother Ron, I am doing wonderful, man. I'm just blessed to be with you on this wonderful, wonderful program, wonderful platform. Amen. Man of God, I'm just excited to be with you on today. My God. Amen. See, see, they don't don't understand, man of God, because, see, before the live broadcast of this fire gospel experience i always call my special guests to you yeah. know do the sound checks to make sure everything is good but i also do the spiritual check which is yes, more sir. important than the sound because holy spirit god will come That's in right. and remove any technical difficulties that's in the way but i want my special guest spirits to be uplifted and they don't even know about the good time you and i was having even before the red light went yes on. sir nah, they don't know that's right <laughs> they don't know brother <laughs> They don't know. So, here, we are. We so here we are, listeners. We are primed and pumped, and we are ready to share with you the good things that God has done, is doing, and what by faith we believe that he will continue to do, all according to his great love, grace, and mercy that he has for us. And I'm just believing, man of God, Ron Summers, that you have no problem witnessing and testifying about the changes, the significant impact that God has had in your yes. life. From the very moment that you accepted Jesus Christ as a personal Savior. And we're just here to bend our ear and listen to it, good brother. Come on with that testimony. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, Brother Ron, I'm going to tell you, I, I, like many of your listeners, I started out um, growing up in church, growing up um, in the pew, as we would say. Um, so a, a, lot, a, a large portion of my life has just been inside of the church. And like many of you, many mm-hmm. of the listeners who are listening to you, um, there's a, there comes a point in time in your life that you develop a relationship with God. And I'm not talking about mm. the uh, relationship with the church, but you have that one-on-one time with God. And um, as I began mm. to get older, Brother Ron, my walk with God became real. It wasn't just a song. Yeah. It wasn't just... Uh, something that we talk about, but it's something that we live, we live, we talk with, you know, it's, it's, mm. it's, it's just not a song, but it became a reality, mm. man, of just having a relationship with God. Um, so I grew, yeah. that's how, that's where I came from, bro. It, and it, you know, it's not uh, something that was put on or fabricated. No, bro, this, this thing is real. So, um, yes, it is. So as I, as I was saying, I just grew up, man, and, God began to open up so many doors, Brother Ron, um, just growing up, you know, in, in a in a sanctified household, if I could put it like that, or, or just term it as that. Yes, sir. Um, God began to um, just just open up my, my, my mind, and I began to do mi- music ministry, and I started off with the, uh, started singing in the youth choir called TMS Youth mm. Choir. I know some of your listeners might remember TM math back in the day, <laughs> but, um, but okay, the Lord just began on. to uh, 
Yeah, man. Ron, I'm telling you, the Lord just began to really pour in me at, at an early age and just really learning the um, the importance of doing ministry and doing it, watch this, doing it the right way. Um, so Come on, uh, that's a little bit about um, kind of my beginnings. And then I, as I got a little older, I began to, uh, I worked with Ty Scott Records for, um, uh, for a while and God allowed me to produce and put out my first record with Ty Scott and uh, just, mm. just again okay. the foundation was there let me just say this Ron the foundation say it. Say it. definitely laid mm-hmm. at a young age um, you know and mm-hmm. just being disciplined and th- these are words that a lot of people don't like in, especially in this day and time no they don't discipline they, no they don't <laughs> you know what Mm-mm. I'm saying Ron Mm-mm. You know, yes, so, sir. Yes, so sir. God just be just just having the right people to mentor me and teach me the uh, the ways of holiness. And, it, and again, those are mm. words that we don't like in this day and time. But no. um, amen. And, You're and right. As God has and as God has matured me, uh, and we'll talk about this. You know, just the different doors that have opened. Um, just you know, growing up and, and coming up in the ranks and. Learning to do music ministry and, and not just music, but also, you know, word ministry. So that is my foundation. That is my foundation. That's a little bit about one. So. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. I want to just reflect back on what you said, Brother Ron. You talked about how God poured into your spirit. Now, those of us that yes. minister in the word, read and study mm-hmm. and pray and meditate, we understand that. But for the sake of your interpretation and for those that may not be fully aware to appreciate what that word means, because it's powerful. It is powerful. Yes. Because we yes, come sir. to the Lord humbly, and that state of humility mm-hmm. means an empty vessel. The only thing I'm right. bringing to the Lord that's of any use and any benefit of all is my empty self. And God yes. will pour into us what is needed not only for our well-being, but ultimately and first and foremost for his glory. Talk about what yes, it sir. means to be poured into, Brother Ron. Yes, sir. <laughs> Brother Ron, don't get me started today, but let me just say this. Let me I'm say here, this. I'm, um, I'm here to, I'm here <laughs> you to here get you it. started. You're here <laughs> for it. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's ride. But you know what, Brother Ron? I learned that, you know, in, in our relationship with God, the first thing is mm-hmm. we have to we have to come to the end of ourselves. We Woo! have to come, watch this, to the end of ourselves. So we get Jesus. to a point that we say, Father, it is no longer my will, but thy will be <clears throat> <So, laughs> and mean it. And mean it. And mean it. And mean it. And, yeah. you know, and, and come like on. I said, it, it this hurts. This hurt, listen, this scripture hurts, but it's so true. The Bible says, present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable Jesus. unto God, which mm-hmm. is your reasonable mm-hmm. service. So, Re- so for the Ron, we have, we have to come to the end of ourselves where when, mm-hmm. and when we come mm-hmm. to the end of ourselves, that's when God can begin to pour into us. For it download into us what his will is for our lives. Give us the, uh, he has amen. the blueprint. He has the yes, blueprint. Sir. So uh, we just have to walk it out. So when I came to that place in my life, Brother Ron, that's when I started to see change. That's when I started to see doors mm-hmm. open. Mm. But, and, let me, and let me just say this. Let me say this, Brother Ron, and, and you and I, we both know this. It's a, this process is not an overnight process. You know, I know we Jesus, live in a no. name it and claim it, and we live in a quickie age mm. where people want stuff, put it in the microwave, and it's done. No, mm-hmm. Brother Ron, mm-hmm. this is a this mm-hmm. is a day by day process. Come on, so come what on. What does it mean to me to What does it mean to 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 for me to be poured into when God has poured into me? It, it, the beginning of it is coming to the end of ourselves, coming to the end of Ron Summers. That's what that meant for me. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Okay, I got you. <laughs> I got you. And um, yes, sir. And I, I say I, I've said this before, and I'm gonna continue to say it. 
because it's so true, and it, it, and it just takes me back to where I need to be to stay before the yes, Lord sir. in a place of acceptability, and that is John the Baptist. He spoke, and I'm going to say he preached the shortest, greatest message in all the Bible when he said he must yes. increase and I must yes. decrease. decrease. And the beauty of that yeah. is, is that when God pours into us, all of the abilities, right. all of the anointing, all of the talents, all of the gifting yes. that God so ordained that we should have. That's why it don't make sense to be competitive and be oppositional right. to another brother or sister. Because what God poured into you was just for you and you alone. It's you just have for a you. unique mixture. You have a yes. unique mixture yes, 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 of yes. your spirit that was created just for you. You That's may see right. some similarities. But what God poured into somebody else was for them. It's no need to compete. What wow. we need to understand, good brother, is we need to compliment. Yes, sir. My gift. Yes, with your sir. gift. Yes, sir. Instead of letting <laughs> the devil <laughs> build a wall of competition. That's because right. Because there's no competition yes, sir. in the body of Christ. Yes, sir. And I just love yes, it. Yes, sir. I just love it. And I'm going to say this because, see, you, you, you almost started to get me happy, <laughs> and I stay that way. Listen, when the Bible yes, says sir. that God will bless us so much so that it will be pressed down, shaking together, it'll still be running yes, over. But listen to this. When we come to God as empty vessels, the pouring does yes. not stop. It fills it us stop. up continuously yes, until sir. it intentionally yes, overflows into the lives yes. of the people around us. Lord Jesus. That's it. Yes, I know sir. I, yes, I, I know sir. I just... I know I just said something like that. <laughs> yes, it is, brother. It's intended. Yeah. <laughs> it's intended to overflow yes, our lives so that people can see us as a source of benevolence from yes. God. And then since That's we know right. that God is not respect a person, they'll say, you know what? If God did it for Brother Ron Summers and God did it for yes. Brother Ron Jefferson, I believe God will yes, do it sir. for me too. And that's the whole He'll point do it right for me there. Too. There's one that's thing. That's it. That, yes, sir. There's one thing. There's one thing that I need to learn, and I'm still practicing on. I've been saved for over four decades, good brother. Sometimes, yes, sir. People will come to us, and it will almost feel like a bother because they'll call, they'll mm-hmm. text, and when they see us, mm-hmm. man, we, we feel sometimes like they crowd in our personal space. And I'm going to say this to you right. because I'm practicing this right now and I'm learning this. It is that mm-hmm. light of God that they sense mm-hmm. and see in us yes. that is drawing yes, them sir. to us. And I have to remember That's that right. because sometimes in my flesh I get annoyed. Sometimes I get yes, like, sir. oh, give me a break, give me a break. <laughs> but see, when we ask God yes, to sir. come into our lives, we need to be prepared that when God comes into our lives, he That's is going right. to either draw people to us or drive yes, people away yes. because if you got hell, if you got hell and the devil in you, you ain't gonna want to be bothered with us too much. But we still don't that's take right. our stand. Amen. That's right, good brother. That's right. And you know what? You know what, brother Ron? God, God calls us the salt of the earth, and that's our that's yes. that's our purpose to be the salt, bro. So what you're saying, what you're saying, brother Ron, is right on target, bro. Right on target. My God, yes, right on yes, target. I, and I have yes, to. Sir. Pray for what the Bible calls tolerance and long suffering, because there's yes, still a sir. part of me, the old me, the the human part mm-hmm. of me, uh, the natural part of me that still is being transformed as a workmanship mm-hmm. in the very same image of Christ Jesus. And like you just said, so appropriately, yes, man of God, mm-hmm. it's a process. And so I try yes, not to be judgmental or too hard on other people, whether they say or right. unsay it, because I can look back on my life That's and I can right. remember some times when I wasn't in God's best graces, man of God. That's tell right. Tell us about the challenge. Yes, sir. Tell us about the, yes, tell us about the challenge that you knew was the devil directly coming against you because of who you are in Christ and how you yes, were sir. able to find victory in one of your most harshest conflicts from our enemy, the devil, because he used people, places, and situations. Sometimes people think it's a, a little red man in a, a, a suit with uh, <laughs> horns on his head and a pitchfork. The devil right. has an influence that can persuade right. people, places, and situations that are being influenced by demonic dark forces, which we call spiritual yes, warfare. Tell us about the time that you yes. went through it and you overcame. Yes, sir. 
You know what, Brother Ron? I'm a, and, and again, I'm so happy that we are having this conversation. Um, anyone, especially if you're listening to this to this to this platform today, anyone that uh, is walking with God, you are mm-hmm. a target for the enemy. Yep. It, listen, yep. if you if you are serving God in any type of capacity. Um, yep. You ought to expect attacks and mm-hmm. um, things mm-hmm. where mm-hmm. things that will come against come you. Come on. And let me just and let me just say this, brother Ron. How we overcome? Hey. How we overcome? We overcome. The Bible says we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Word brother, of our my testimony. testimony. Listen, my yep. testimony is, bro. When I feel like you know I've dropped the ball or I missed the mark. I've learned mm-hmm. to be quick to repent. You know, don't don't Thank you, be let's we have to be on, watch this Ron. <laughs> we have to be honest with ourselves and honest yes, with God. Sir. God there yes. listen, we don't have to go down the line mm-hmm. of how many mm-hmm. times we, we struggle or we may feel a certain way or we we did something wrong or we said that said something that we shouldn't have said or maybe you know, we went yeah. off on a person or our attitude wasn't right. But, bro, what I've learned, Brother Ron, I've learned to be quick to repent and be honest with yeah. God. And when we, you, are, when we are honest with God, listen, God is faithful and just to forgive us. Huh? But if we try yes, to sir. hide it and try to, <laughs> bro, if we try to hide it and, you know, we know we walking in air, we or we know we walking in yeah. uh, in in you know something mm-hmm. we ain't got no business, mm-hmm. and then we trying to you keep right. it under the rug. No, bro, come on, let's be honest with God bro. and let's be honest with ourselves. And that's listen, Amen. that is a one of the power, most powerful things that we can mm-hmm. do is go to God in prayer and be mm-hmm. and, and be transparent Amen. and just say, God, it's me. <laughs> Thank it's you. me. I'm yeah, the one yeah, that's standing yeah. in the need of prayer. So um, mm. that's how that's 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 one of our things we call in our spiritual tool toolkit that we use is just you know let's 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 come before God and let's let's put it all on the table. The Bible says, "If my people who mm. are called by my name, if we would number one, come on, humble ourselves and pray, seek His face." Yeah. Now here's the key right here. Mm. Turn. <laughs> turn. There must be, be a turning, brother Ryan. We gotta mm. turn. We gotta turn from our wicked ways. Then the Bible Come says, you, "You know the rest of the scripture." So, um, but that's mm-hmm. that's 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 been one of our my um, my my I would say in my spiritual backpack. Those are the those are some of the things that um, I do. But here's the other key too, brother. Brother Ron, it's just we have to have a consistent prayer life with God. We have to have those Amen. lines of communication Amen. open. So yes, sir. Amen. Pray without yes, ceasing. Sir. Pray without ceasing. Good Come brother. on now. That don't mean always assume a, a low position of knees and hand claps and eyes closed. That means have a God consciousness where my mind right. is always in a prayer position. That's, That's it. what that means. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, you know what, good brother? You talked about yes, we have to turn from anything that's yes, dark, sir. that's wicked, that's deceitful. Proud people yes. don't turn. Proud people right. think they not only going in the right direction, but they think they are the trailblazers right. for the direction. <laughs> so God is not, the Bible says God resists the proud. How are you going to be that's proud right. in, in the face of the very one who made you all the way down yeah, to your wow. cellular structure? All the way wow. down to your cellular structure. You didn't even know you was alive, yeah. and God took His time and pieced you together one cell at a time until you was the whole created. That's right. That's and right. then pushed you through your mother's womb and breathed right. the breath of life into you. But what God yes, wants to do is breathe the breath of eternal life into you. That's it. Which only yes, comes sir. to those who believe. And just like my yes, special sir. guest, he's going to let y'all know. Huh? It only comes <laughs> to those yes, sir. that believe. Give God praise up Amen. in here. Amen. 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 Come on, children. <laughs> you felt alone and isolated, praying hard to stay motivated. Hold on, live on. Don't worry, 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 
You are listening to Fire, the gospel explosion where the praises are going up and the worries are going away. Playing for you the best and the newest gospel music on the planet and the most inspiring encouragement under God's heaven. Keep tuning in and bless your family, your friends, and your co-workers by telling them about Fire. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Fire, fire, fire. The gospel experience. I need to take time out right now to just thank each and every one of you beautiful souls that have already voted for yours truly in the 2023 Praise Award 16th season as producer of the year and then as well as the podcast of the year, Fire the Gospel Experience. You can go to the Praise Factor Awards on Facebook, and also to my Ron E. Jefferson Facebook page. I just want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart. I already feel like a winner just because I've been nominated to be with so many anointed and God-gifted people of God. It just is such a wonderful blessing to be counted in that number. And even if there's somebody in the category that I'm in that blessed you more so than then, you go right ahead and you vote for them because I told you all before it's not a competition. I'm trying to let my light so shine, man of God, Ron Summers, so that God can get the glory and get the praise. And if somebody's out there doing yes, anything sir. in a way that blesses people and somebody's getting blessed by it more than me, I say right on, good brother, right on, good sister. And also, too, I just am just thanking each and every one of you for your vote, for your support, for your listenership, and for sharing this fire gospel experience so that God can get the glory. And that somebody listening to this broadcast, brother, Ron Summers, can be uplifted, can be encouraged. And if they're not saved, that this might be something that can be said that will have them to inquire and be led and be curious about salvation as the gift from God through our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Man of God, I'm just excited to have you back here with us because you know God can. Yes, sir. But you know, like you said, it's a, it's a process. Sometimes we just have to wait and we don't like waiting. Now, I know that you're a song writer as well. Have Tell us about your songwriting career and what gives you the inspiration that you get when you know Holy Spirit God is giving you words to write and to sing about. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, Brother Ron, I started writing, um, of course, um, as as a young little boy growing up in Indianapolis. um, God, God gave me different opportunities to write for a lot of different artists. Um, I started writing for. the Churches of God in Christ for the St. Louis Experience. Um, I wrote on the uh, Pastor Rudy Project, and uh, some of you probably okay. heard of this artist, um, Brother Kevin Lemons. I was the writer of the song called yes. Royal of yes, the sir. Lord, uh, yes, and um, that mm-hmm. song has has blessed so many lives, brother. Um, that, and I just thank mm-hmm. God for downloading, mm-hmm. um, you know, just the the the, the message in the song. Um, and let me say this, I don't just write songs for the run just because it sounds good or it has a good hook, but my prayer has always been, you know, Father God, let me write songs that will put people in your presence, or let me write Thank songs you. that will cause people to turn or cause people to be encouraged, that will cause yes, yes. people for their faith to be increased. And I believe that go. we have achieved that on this particular EP. Um, there is a yes, song sir. for 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 Grandma. <laughs> you know the song that you just yeah, played. Yeah, um, you know, <laughs> Let me tell you something. It has a it has an East Coast vibe on that churchy or churchy vibe. But let me tell you something, uh, Brother Ron. God gave me God downloaded just a lot of stuff as we were talking earlier. Just during the pandemic, mm-hmm. bro, it was mm. so many things that were happening, and like so many people, you know, they fell into a uh, a, a spell of depression, or they they just, you know, some people, you yeah. know, lost yeah. their lives. Yeah. And we lost a lot of loved yeah. ones, and God gave me that mm. song during, you know, during the pandemic. That the worst is over, okay, but the best is yet okay. to come. Now the best. Now watch That's this. Real talk. Watch this. The best is yet to come for those who know who God is. But if you don't there have you that go. relationship huh. with Him, you, <laughs> you know. You, you, okay, let me let me behave myself. But you know, no, no, God, no. It's that, hey, hey, the type of, yeah, 
Yeah. That's, that's, real, that's, that's real talk, brother. We're not here to sugarcoat it. Yeah. If you don't know the Lord Jesus, you are in jeopardy of losing your soul to eternal damnation. It's not yes, imagination. Sir. It's not us trying to yes, scare sir. nobody into the church because no. it's not the fear of yeah. the Lord that draws you to God. It is the love right. of God that draws the love you to God. God, that's it. God is that's more it. fearful of you losing your soul than you are fearful that's of losing right. your own soul. That's right. That's right. And I will say this, Warren, and, and we all can we all can see what's happening in our in our nation and in our world. Times are becoming more evil. You know, times oh are becoming. God. You know, people are people are killing each other. People are um, mm-hmm. there's mm-hmm. no love. The Bible says the love of many shall wax cold. Has waxed cold. So, yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. These are the times that we are living in. You you, you see yes, what I'm sir. saying? These are this. This is a, this is the day that we're living in, but I believe for the people of God that if we continue to walk with Him, that the, our yes, worst sir. days are over. <laughs> Thank you. And the best is yes, yet sir. to come. So the best um, is yet to come. So these are the type of <laughs> yes, sir. These are the type of songs that God has given me uh, on this EP, and I'm just so excited about what God is doing. So excited. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Hey man, you, you 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 said a whole mouthful, man. We could talk about that for a whole another show because Woo! we are living in times right now. I can recall a yeah. time when we heard about some sort of mass shooting and it just shocked us. It is almost yes. a part of regular daily news now yes. to hear about another yes. mass shooting. All we do now is just yes. shake our head and say, mm, "That's a crying shame." It don't even shock us no yeah. more because it has become so common and so prevalent because right. lives right. are being taken. And people need yes. to understand that this is not just homicide. Yes, this is not just mass killing. These are the works of our enemy of men's souls, Satan, yes. the devil. He gets into the yes. minds and in the hearts of people who have no covering, who have no relationship right. with God, who are hostile right. to God, which makes it easy for him to manipulate right. them and take over their thinking. And what they're thinking yes, sir. is is to rob, kill, and destroy. Mm-hmm. As the Bible says, and he destroy. goes about as a roaring lion seeking out people right. to kill. And he is That's looking right. for Christians first. You don't hear about yes, Muslims getting killed. You don't right. hear about people right. that follow uh, Chinese religion getting killed. You That's hear right. about Christians right. being killed because we have the audacity to say that Jesus is the way and Jesus is yes. the only way. That is very age of the only way. But look, I, I, I'm here yes, sir. to testify yes, sir. about Jesus being the Son of God. I have not heard nobody yes, else that can make the claims and have the evidence that Jesus did. I'm going to say this, and I'm going to be quiet for a minute as best I can, good brother. When people tell me, how do you <laughs> know that Jesus was the Son of God? I said, look on your calendar. And when mm-hmm. you see 2023, that means there was a man who walked the earth 2,023 years ago, mm-hmm. and his name is Jesus. Mm-hmm. And that calendar mm-hmm. is um, used worldwide and accepted worldwide. Mm-hmm. Now, do you know any other person where our world history calendar is marked after? I said that right mm. there alone should tell you Mm -hmm. that there's something significantly unique about this man, Jesus, because when it speaks about A.D., that's Latin for Dante Das. That means the year of our Lord. And B.C. means before Christ. Now, what is that telling you? Before Christ. Okay? Right. Right. So I'm trying trying to help people understand the significance that is evident in our world and in our times now that relates back to Christianity when this man, Jesus, walked the face of the earth. No other man has claimed yes, to have gotten up out of the grave and been witnessed wow. by living right. souls That's right. as recorded in the Bible. That's so I believe what yes, the word sir. says, and then I'm going to say this and be quiet for real, sir. My testimony <laughs> about the transformation mm-hmm. of my life confirms right. what that Bible says and what that Bible teaches. Because That's it. I did not That's become it. who I am under my own power, under some old That's force right. of will or any. Scientology right. that God right. is in me. I know God is in me because the creator God is in me and not God of ourselves. So I am convinced right. through testimony, man of God, 
that the Bible is right, that yes, God sir. is real, and that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. That's it. Wow. I'm convinced. That's it. That's it. Yes, sir. I am too, my brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Only God can change so the us. life. Only, only, only Jesus God. Christ can change. He's He's the only one that can that can take somebody who has who has mm. um, um, been down and out and change your life. Yes, sir. Only the power of only yes, the power of God can do that. So that's how we know that yeah. He's real. That's how we know. Amen. That's how we know. So yes, sir. I'm Amen. with you, bro. Amen. I am with you. Amen. Yes, that, sir. Is, that, that that is so true. But see, here's the thing that throws a lot of people off. We have to come to God on his terms, and we can't come to God on our own terms. They'll be talking about, I believe if God does such and such. And that's what a lot of people in Jesus' day mentality was. They said that if you show us, we'll believe. God has said, no, you believe, then I'll show you. Come on. Come on. Come on. You bring your faith. Uh, you bring your faith. Yes, you, bring, sir. you bring that in, you bring that invisible element that's inside of you because your spirit yes, is sir. invisible and so am I. So yes, our sir. faith which is invisible, the manifestation of our faith is visible because faith without yes, works sir. is dead being alone. That means it's that dead. my faith drives right. me to do things that you can see externally. Yes, but sir. we meet God yes, sir. internally through our faith. That means my soul yes, is sir. reaching out to the Spirit of God Almighty. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is good to me. And that's Ron. where the trans this is good. And that's where the this is good and to that's me. where the transformation begins. The transformation begins yes, on the inside. Where our soul yes, lives sir. inside this flesh body. And then the change yes, becomes evident on the outside for all the world to see. And then we'll there'll be people like the two that was on the road to on the road to Emmaus. They'll say, Didn't our hearts burn when we talk to mm. this man? People's hearts will burn within them when we come yes, into sir. their presence and testify because what comes from the heart, man of God, reaches the heart. What comes yes, from sir. our spirit reaches the spirit. Amen. So everything yes, that you've been through man of God is is to prepare you for the work that only God requires of you. Everything that you've been through yes, has been intentionally put upon you so that you'll be in a state of mind, a state of spirit, and a state of testimony to be able to reach people that nobody else that hasn't been through what you've been through That's can testify right. to. They're so That's right. Good That's brother. right. And I'm, amen. Amen. Yes. <laughs> What's in store for the man yes, of God, sir. Ron Summers, next? What you got next on your what? spiritual list of things to do? Yes, sir. Listen, I'm, I'm telling you, Brother Ron, we we and my team, we are busy for this coming summer. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of traveling um, this summer. We're going to, um, I believe we're going to the Stella Awards. We're going to the AIM Convention Good. in Indianapolis. Uh, just uh, okay. a host of different um, things lined up for this uh, for this summer, for the spring and summer. Yeah. And I'm excited, Brother Ron. I am so excited yeah. um, just to oh. be able to stand. <laughs> yes, sir. You, I'm, I'm just excited to be able to stand and sing about sing about Jesus, sing about you know His yes. goodness, and just to encourage yes. the people of God. Wherever I can, I'm privilege. just excited about what God is doing. Yes, sir. It's a, it's a yes, distinct sir. privilege, man, of God. And now I'm excited to uh, see how God has enabled our paths to cross so that we can continue to build kingdom collaboration in this kingdom building process because it's all about bringing yes, God's sir. glory. It's about the glory that already exists in the heavenly down here yes, into this earth realm where we live through our own yes. lives. Let the glory fall yes, on us, God, so that you can be recognized yes, as God, the creator, the only true and living God. So my prayer for you, man of God, yes, is that sir. you sustain, that you maintain, and that you will remain yes, sir. in place in the center of God's will. Yes, sir. Because once you do in that, the there'll be manifestations, there'll be prayers that are going beyond even your imagination. Things that you didn't even pray yes. for will be falling down on you like like spring rain. You hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Yes, so yes, I received that, that take brother Ron. Yes, take sir. that man of God. I received that, and then go tell, yes, and then sir. go tell somebody. Tell him the testimony yes, song. If they have a problem with you, <laughs> yes, tell them to come see me. <laughs> man of God, oh brother Ron. Listen, we got yes, more sir. music that we're gonna bless our listeners with. But before you get out of here, I'm gonna ask you to share with us one one life flowing word. That we could take with us from yes, this sir. broadcast and apply it to our thoughts, to our mind, and to our lives. And then I want you to share some information with us about how you can be reached, where your music can be downloaded, and where my listeners can continue to follow and support you on social media. Give us a word to help absolutely. us live better, live longer. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you, Brother Ron. I just want to say this to everyone. Um, there's uh, a, a scripture that has just been jumping out at me for a while. And it just simply says, it's out of Philippians, it says, he that begun a good work in you mm. will perform it. Yeah. He will perform it until the day of yes, Jesus sir. Christ. Yes, and I just want mm-hmm. to share with you and with you, watch this, with you and your listeners to so don't give up okay. the work. Keep going. Okay. Keep going. You're right on mm. time. I know a lot of times we feel like, God, did I miss the boat or did I miss the mark? Or am I too mm-hmm. old? Am I too young? Or um, mm. I don't have a degree or I don't have this and that. Listen, God is the one who called you. and He qualified you. That's right. It is, it's just up, up to us to just do the work. Just do the work. Don't give That's up it. on God. Don't give up what he's That's already good. placed in your spirit. It's going to happen. Mm-hmm. It's going to happen. Mm. He's going to he's going to bring it to pass. So I just want to share that with your with you, brother Ron, and with your listeners. Yeah. To, to don't give up yes, on sir. God. He's going to make it happen. He's going to make it good. He's going to make it good. Amen. So uh, I, I absolutely appreciate you, brother Ron, and to all of your listeners. Please, please, please follow me on Instagram. Summers twenty three twenty three. You can also follow mm-hmm. me on Facebook, the official um, Ron Summers page. We have a lot of information. Brother Ron, I even got my own website, the official Ron Summers oh, yeah. man of God. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> so, um, you know, check us out. And uh, we, we, I, I'm pretty sure we're going to be coming to a city near you, um, wherever you're listening Amen. from. Um, if you, if you want to contact us, you can, co- you can call. Area code four zero seven four 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 one six five one for any type Amen. of uh, any type of bookings. Um, you can contact my guy Damon, and of course Sean Granger and Emmanuel Music Group. We yes, absolutely sir. love you. Yeah, and we we're just excited for the run about this season. I just believe that God is going to. Uh, continue to just blow our minds And congratulations to you Brother Ron Brother Ronnie Jefferson Congratulations bro For yes, your sir. nomination Thank you And um, you know Amen. We ride with you brother We, we Listen We on your team Amen <laughs> Thank you Thank you Thank yes, you I sir. appreciate that Man of God I need to share this with you Because it just hit my spirit There is going to be A gospel carnival cruise With woman of God Yes Helene Cool Bowden. She's on Facebook. And she is still okay. opening up, I do believe, opportunities for gospel artists to come and minister. We're going to take over the Carnival Cruise ship yes. August the 31st through September the yes. 4th, 2023, for four days cruise on the Bahamas. And I'm understanding yeah, that with a roommate, I'm saying, uh, unless things have changed, the last price okay. that I received was. Three hundred and ninety dollars with a roommate for four days on the cruise wow. ship. You can't beat that nowhere. Yes, sir. August the thirty first. Nowhere to September four. Mark your calendar, man of God, because I've been asked to be yes, one sir. of the host MCs for this amazing carnival yes. cruise. We're gonna take over the boat for Jesus when we get Let's to the go. Bahamas. We're gonna take over whatever portion of Bahamas. We're gonna take it over for Jesus, yes, man sir. of God. So I'm telling you. And Sean Granger, yes, sir. y'all pack it in your bags and yes, mark sir. y'all calendar for August the 31st to September the 4th. And meet me on this carnival cruise ship because we're going to have a good time in Jesus. And there's going to be so many people Let's there that's going to open up doors for you. 
There's going to be people yes, there, sir. man of God, that's going to open up doors you don't even know exist. Jesus. I appreciate y'all. Love Thank you, Jesus. Lord. Ain't nothing you can do about love it. Love you, man. Love me back. Pray for me. I'm going to pray for you. <laughs> Ain't nothing you can do except yes, pray sir. back. Amen? How yes, back? sir. <laughs> man of God. God. Yes, sir. God, God bless you, man. y'all was right here on this fire gospel experience. We appreciate you. We love you, man. Take care. Man of God. God bless you, man. I'm telling you, you people of God, y'all disturb my spirit so much. It, it's such a straight up 100% blessing. As long as I'm here on earth, and I know that the spirit of God, the word of God, and the people of God are here for me, that will feed my mind, my body, and my soul. That is the complete makeup of who we are. And when we don't have that necessary uplifting source to keep our minds, our bodies, and our souls, we leave ourselves in jeopardy for the enemy to come in and to gain territory because he's looking to try to overthrow us and conquer us because he already knows what his ultimate fate is, and that is hell and damnation. So be victorious, believers. It is so, it is written that you will already be victorious. But I'm afraid I got to say it. You do have to name it and claim it. And then you have to believe it and live like it's, you already there. Come on, Ron Summers. Woman of God, Tasha Lockhart. It is so. And that's the part where I say, amen. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on. Somebody ought to get up on your feet and prove this with us. Listen, we're here to tell you, whatever you're going through, God's word is true. We come to let you know that it is so. <laughs> Sing it right here, Tasha.
Hello, I'm Pam Jones, CEO and founder of River and Word magazine, the River Awards, and River Word Gospel Station, where you will hear the very best in gospel programs of spiritual discussion, conversations, and the most uplifting and anointed gospel artists and gospel music. Our network features every Monday Caribbean and Urban American Gospel Radio Show at 4 p.m. Central. Every Tuesday, Stephanie's Gospel Highway at 4 p.m. Central and 5 p.m. Eastern. Weekend Praise Party at 6 p.m. with Santoria Black. Every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Central, Let's Talk to the Lord with John Ross. And you can also catch it at 5 p.m. Eastern. At 6 p.m. Central, uh, Central, United Praise. Every Thursday, Blue Flame Moment with Clarissa Haddon Jackson at 4 p.m. Central. Weekend Praise Party at 6 p.m. again with Centurio Black. Every Friday at 11 a.m., Realizing My Best Life with Janice Peterson. At 3 p.m. at Central and 4 p.m. Eastern, Stephanie's Gospel Highway. At 6 p.m. Central, Urban Gospel Sounds with Orlando the Landlord. On Saturday at 12 noon, we cut up and chop up with Tony D's new artist profile. At 2 p.m. Central, The Covenant Keeper with Apostle and author Darlene Thompson. And finally, on Sunday at 3 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Eastern, it's the Fire Show with Ron Jefferson. River and Word in in this gospel station is called by God to celebrate who he is in the highest if you're interested in more information regarding our different ministry platforms, you can contact me, Pam Jones, at 832-699-1533 or by email, therivermusic33 at gmail.com. And you can find us at riverandword.com. And you are listening to FIRE, the gospel experience where the fire is moving, uplifting, unrestrained, Experience of biblical inspiration and gospel music. I'm inviting you to let the light of Jesus Christ shine bright in your life. So by all means, keep it tuned in to fire the gospel experience, which will uplift your spirit and give you new strength. Be a blessing to your family, friends, co-workers by telling them about fire on this station. It's all about the kingdom building. This is Pam Jones.
Lord, no worries. I don't need to speak the language, but in my spirit, I'm just translating it. Woman of God, just a LC, featuring Zakumi Essene. It's talking about no wala. No wala, y'all. No worries. Because God got my back, my fire, my side, my front, my up, and my down. Amen. Goes right here. No wala. I like that. I'm just going to start telling people that, too. Hey, man, I'm going through this, that, the other thing. I said, man, look here. No wala. No wala. No worries. I want to thank you all for tuning in on the National Gospel Writers Song Gospel Songwriters Conference, the National Gospel Songwriters Conference. Woman of God, Madeline P.G. is the founder and host of that platform where she broadcasts this fire gospel experience every Wednesday morning at 11 a.m. to the standard time. You can catch this fire gospel experience rebroadcast from, I'm going to say, the last five years. God has blessed me. Hey, man, goes right there to be the engineer, the conductor, the chief motivator for the fire gospel experience right there on the National Gospel Songwriters Conference. Just type it in, dot com, and the link will come up, the platform will come up. Not just fire the gospel experience, but if you go to that platform, the National Gospel Songwriters Conference, you'll be able to be blessed by many, many God-anointed people of God, whether they are media personalities such as myself, or we come in and we just facilitate all preaching and teaching right there. Tune in. Tune in and be blessed. Thank you, woman of God, Natalie Peaches, for overseeing that anointed platform. You tuned in to Fire the Gospel Experience, and you just heard woman of God, Jessica, I'll see. And Zakumi Essin, singing about no wala, no worries indeed, because we have learned to put our whole confidence in God Almighty. We will be sharing with you all some thoughts about perfect peace from Isaiah 26 and 3. But that all leads us to being more like our Lord and our Savior, Jesus the Christ. And what that means is there'll be times in our life where we have no problem with showing love, showing who God has made us to be in this newness of life. Amen goes right there. You don't have to learn how to just show some love. And that's what my man, 1K Hugh, is going to do. He's going to take us to his understanding of what it means to just show some love. Because love is the essential element that is needed so much so in the world today. I don't think no one can debate that. I don't think nobody can argue with that. We're going to be talking about perfect peace on the fire gospel experience. But we also want you to know that there is a perfect love that does exist. And we are called, we are the ones that are designated to show love. Amen. Show love, show love, show love. Show love, show love, show love. Show love, show love, show love. Let them hate all they want, show love. And when you finally come up. Been a while, 
my shot for real, I'm never gonna pump, babe. Ran on the score, knew I would make it one day. Huh. On the way up, buckle up, we on the runway. Huh. Straight to the top, want me a ticket for one way. Show love, show love, show love. Show love, show love, show love. Let them hate all they want, show love. And when you finally come up. Show some love, y'all. That is that tangible, undeniable evidence where we take our faith and let them grow hands, let them grow feet, and be about the business of actively being involved in somebody's lives. Sounds of man of God, one case you. Talking about show love right here, show love. Amen. Goes right there. Got to love that. Showing some love everywhere we go with every opportunity that we have. This is the segment of fire. Fire, 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 the gospel experience where you talented, anointed, gifted people of God bring your sanctified self with the gift of oratory, the gift of uplifting verbiage to stimulate our minds, our heart, and our souls to strive to reach higher, to go to higher heights in God, to go deeper into the deep well of God's knowledge and his reassurance over our soul. Amen. This is the woman of God, I promise you. There are so many talented people that have contacted me for this fire gospel experience, to be in this word of inspiration. I have a dear friend that I have had kingdom collaboration with for over the course of many, many years. And that is woman of God, Tara Lynn Michelle, wants us to do a self-examination or a spot check, if you will. Come on, sister girl. Ah, the spot check. That quick once over to inspect, correct, and try to perfect my imperfections. A shift, pull, tug, or cover up was in play for those sections that needed to be hidden. And I ain't talking only about what could be seen in a mirror. Hell, that reflection, muddled and heavily soiled by the lies broadcast that I chose to own. So much so I disowned my birthright and labeled it inferior. The lies that defined what value should look like and be, value that never belonged to me because I had no clue. I was what I sought. But since I bought the vision of less being more, I inadvertently waged a war during peacetime, increasing the time I wandered in darkness, looking for the cure from my captor. After signing myself up for certain death on the day of the rapture, see, I had become their captor while being unaware I wasn't free. This is why I sought solutions from the same source who imprisoned me by occupying space in my mind. Turns out being blind was my choice. I was no victim. I chose to deny the calling within my soul for answers that lay well beneath the surface. I determined what my curse is. When I cursed my creator by choosing to try on suggestions for wholeness from fragmented man and fragmented lands, wielding deceptive plans and an agenda that needed the needy, greedy, lost, impatient, and excitedly distracted. The ones who reenacted chaos. Because it's easy, even though the expected results kept them queasy and broken. The lost have become tokens to be played by the puppet master who sit and marvel at disaster that pay dividends. While each day we become closer to an end, we don't want to own. So back then, as I stood in front of that mirror, all I could do was spot check. I allowed my eyes to scan and memorize every inch of me that didn't fit their mold. Of course... I was never told. They didn't even fit the mold they sold me. There was no label disclaiming to buyers after purchase you chip away pieces of your identity and soul. That you'll step from your pedestal as royalty and diminish the very value of your melanin. See, they knew before you, you are black gold. 
because I am his and he is me, I met the bottom in these lands. And at the bottom, I raised my hand to be helped from the pit I had chosen, only to be met with judgment and silence. As my mental reel replayed the violence of my declarations of self-hate, I guess I deserve this fate, as it was a part of my purchase. So, maybe I should lay in wallow. Then, my soul, called by a gentle whisper, reminding me, there's more than one path to follow. Daughter, you raised one hand. But will you raise both, the voice asked of me. This was the first time I realized I wasn't free, but could be. Because I am his, and he is me. Just as I chose to stand before a mirror and pick which parts of me were worthy of scrutiny, I could choose to take in the glory of his creation. All of me. The second time I stood before that mirror, I knew I was not alone because I had chosen to take the walk with him. I chose to ask his solutions and blocked off outside offers. So this time, as my eyes scanned my naked body from head to toe, I was amazed how distorted the first time was. I was flawed perfection, and the most beautiful parts were the sections deemed unsalvageable before. It's amazing how choosing to look through the lens of God cures self-hate and delusions of grandeur. It's just that simple. When he is the first choice with no room for alternatives, hopelessness will fade. In being dedicated to the hardest work one can ever do, the inside work, your reward is the ultimate source and resource coming to your aid. The lies that we play in our minds eventually become the truth we live and dress up to disguise our pain. Insane, but true when we lose connection to our God identity. When I reconnected to her, then he and I could vibe again. It's never easy with God as my best friend, but neither is the latter. And since my soul is all that matters, I'm all in. Thank you, woman of God. Thank you, woman of God. Carol and Michelle, she said, since my soul is involved, that's all that matters, and that's what it's all about, y'all. A soul in a relationship with the Most High God, the one who created us, the one who made us, shaped, and formed us to be who we be in this world for such a time as this. You're tuned in to Fire, 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 the gospel experience. We will be sharing with you from the Old Testament book of Isaiah, chapter 26 and verse 3, where the word of God is telling us, telling you and I, you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Amen goes right there. And if man of God, Rodney J. Harris, had an opportunity to say amen, he would just sing a song entitled, No One Like You, Lord. No One. Okay, that's good. I'm going to let him sing. Come on, Brother Harris. Do your thing, brother. Thank you. 
Hello, everyone. I am TV, radio host, author, and choreographer, Apostle Sharita Lovelace. I am called by God to celebrate who he is in the highest. If you're in search of someone who will change the atmosphere with the spirit of great worship, praise, or even a spoken word for your concert, revival, seminar, or fellowship, you can contact me by phone at 404 295 7367, or by email at Sharita at gmail.com. Listen, please join me for the triumphant show with Sharita Lovelace on Facebook Live every Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where you will be blessed with my anointed special guest and myself in some relevant spiritual conversations. Right now, you're listening to Fire, the gospel experience where the fire is a moving, uplifting, and unrestrained experience of biblical inspiration and gospel music. I'm inviting you to let the light of Jesus the Christ shine bright in your life. So, by all means, keep it tuned in to Fire, the gospel experience, which will uplift your spirit and give you new strength. Be a blessing to your family, friends, and coworkers by telling them about fire on this station. It's all about kingdom building.
as I stand with the angels, I will join in with them and sing holy, holy, holy to you, almighty God. Sounds of the anointed sisters, carry sisters on this fire gospel experience. I'm so looking forward to their return visit. These sisters have so much soul, so much anointing over their lives. I know that we've seen the story of the Clark sisters. I'm waiting on the story, the biography, the biopsy of the women of God, the bioptic story of the Carey sisters, those anointed women of God. They just took us right to the throne and removed the veil and put us right into the presence of Almighty God. Thank you, Carrie sisters. I appreciate that moment of praise. It blessed my heart, and I'm sure it blessed my listeners. We are embracing for your spiritual consideration from the Old Testament book of Isaiah, chapter 26 and verse 3. It's why I'd like to share some scriptural and prepared thoughts, if you will, which reads, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusted in thee. There seems to be a multitude of venues, voices, and variances that would espouse to have the keys to peace. From humming meditation to deep philosophical queries, and then a certain way of giving, living, and behaving, to even smoking euphoric plant life consumption. And then the physical body bending maneuvers of Eastern yoga methodology. When the truth be told, there is some truth that lies somewhere in and in between many sources and believe resources for the quest of peace. And yes, of course, religious beliefs are certainly at the top of that list. But among the least of faith and religious belief lies the truest religion of them all. Yes, yes. I know that there are many rich, famous, and successful people, powerful people in this world's ladder of high achievers like Oprah Winfrey and others who have stated and believed that there are many ways to embrace, find, and achieve peace on earth and eternal life in heaven. But I tend to renounce those other theories in my personal search for truth, peace, and God. And will cling to the life-sustaining word of the prophet Isaiah in chapter 26, verse 3, which says, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. First of all, those who know God through truth in his word will be kept. Our Lord Jesus said in John, the book of John, I give unto him eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. God Almighty has promised through the prophet Isaiah, as well as the Lord Jesus, which you just heard, that he himself would do the keeping of our peace. So, what is peace according to what our almighty God has promised to provide? Freedom from disturbance, tranquility, calm, restfulness, peacefulness, quietness. All of which has an inner platitude within ourselves, mind, spirit, and body. This is the peace that passes all understanding. This peace from God is not just the absence of trials, troubles, and temptations. The great inner calm, regardless of any and all circumstances, from without as well as from within. Philippians 4 and 7 says, And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Like, for instance, within the great destructive power of a twisting, turning, high-powered, circular wind of a tornado, inside that circle, in the middle of it all, is an area of peace and stillness known as the eye of the storm. How so? Well, to de demonstrate to those who have ears to hear the symbolism of peace that God gives, that's why that eye exists in the storm. So that even on a physical, earthly level, we can see that there is a tremendous 
unknown and unexplainable peace in the middle of such a devastating earthly impact that is disastrous and destructive, yet still there by peace right in the middle of it all. This is symbolic of the peace that God gives. For instance, also, like the boxer who is receiving attacks and blows from his opponent boxer within their ring, their circumstance, the well-trained and prepared boxer has learned through his mentor, trainer, experience, and skill has developed the ability to stay calm and level-headed and execute the defensive and offensive postures that he needs to win. This is the ability to withstand the storms and not let the storms stand over us. All about our faith in God to be kept. Amen goes right there. Yes, which goes directly to our mindset. Isaiah 26, verse 3, C portion says, Whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. Our mind is directly connected to our spirit. Our spirit is the mind portion of our soul. God is saying that when we have acquired and obtained the proper mindset, then and only then do we have the ears of our spirit to hear what brings peace to our soul which is our whole core being within us. Matthew 11 and 15, our Lord Jesus said, He that has ears to hear, let him hear. Which I must say, unfortunately for some, it's not many works in reverse as well. Psalms 135, verse chapter, verse 17 says, They have ears, but they hear not. Neither is there any breath in their mouths. So peace comes from the peace giver who is none other than God Almighty himself and God alone. Our soul has a voice, and our soul's voice cries out to our spirit for truth that feeds us. This is so because God created our souls to be fed like a newborn feeds on our mother's breast milk. 1 Peter 2 and 2 says, As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, that they may grow thereby. The word of God has greater impact than when rightly received than any and all negative exterior forces and interior forces that may come against us. But as we continue to be fed by the word of God, we grow. And so does the peace of God grow with us and sustains us. But peace begets peace. And no other substitute will ever suffice. As does our appetite for more truth, peace, and the word of God grow, the milk of God's word gives us strength to grow to the meat of God's word. Hebrews 5 and 14 says, But strong meat belongs to them that are full age, even those who by reason of use have their excesses exercised to discern both good and evil. Wherever we may be in our Christian life and discipline, whether we feed on the milk of God's word or the meat of God's word, this is where we find and keep the precious gift of God's peace. Amen. Amen. And amen again. You're tuned in to Fire, 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 Gospel Experience. Just sharing with you some thoughts, some inspirational thoughts, some perfect peace from the Old Testament book of Isaiah, chapter 26 and verse 3. Here's woman of God, Nikia Lashon, letting you know that when you get that peace, that comes from the everlasting love of our almighty creator God. Give you. 
everlasting love comes from an eternal and ever-living God. Sounds of woman of God, Nakia Lashon. We thank you, Father God, for your everlasting love. I am so blessed to be back with you all again on another fire, fire, fire gospel experience. I pray that God will keep you, bless you, cover you, and just lead you to higher places of success in him. He is the source of all of our successes. Amen. Everything else is just a resource. I want to thank my special guest, man of God, gospel artist, Ron Summers, for coming in with so much Jesus energy and Jesus joy. He just blessed my sanctified socks off. We'll leave you all with one final word that I pray goes deep into your spirit just for your keeping and for your well-being. Part of my personal testimony is, at first, I thought I would bring Christianity into my whole life. But now I know that I bring my whole life into Christianity. Can't hold nothing back. No matter how good it feels or how much I used to do it, I need to cling to the new way of life in Christ and let those old things be passed away. I want to leave you all with this gospel frontier message that we take to the streets with man of God, TCO, letting us know, letting us know. You can watch my face because it's going to work. So until next time, y'all be blessed in the name of our Lord and our Savior, our beautiful Redeemer, Jesus the Christ. I pray Holy Spirit God will move in you in such a way that you will experience a brand new dimension of faith in our Christian walk as Father God watches over us all until we meet him in heaven. Y'all be blessed in the beautiful name of Jesus. Come on, TCO. Let's go ahead on the show and what we're talking about. Watch my face work. Because it's working, y'all. Amen. <laughs> amen, amen. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Watch my face. Watch my face. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Watch my face. Faith work. Faith work. I get into it, you would never catch me with a day fate. Cause I gave Christ on my day weight. Everything that had me in a day state. It's not a feeling, but I'm faith driven and I'm ready with it in the willing spirit. I stay willing, ain't no hitting missing, and I'm solid even when it's hitting different. I know what mud like and I play dirt. With that said, it's a lot of things I made worse. Because of Christ, I'm no longer out there head first. Now I just sit back, relax, and watch my faith. Now I believe God, watch my faith work. Watch it work. No matter what the odds, watch my faith work. Watch it work. Now I believe God, watch my faith work. Watch it work. No matter what the odds, watch my faith work. Watch my faith work. Watch my watch my faith work. Watch my faith work. Watch my watch my faith work. Watch my faith work. Watch my watch my faith work. Watch my faith work. Watch my watch my faith work. My faith got me living pretty risky. I live it out, cause no weapon formed against me. Shall prosper. No, you can't hit me. Clothed in the word, got me looking spiffy. Watch me run it up, blessed and don't worry free. Elevate and firm faith, you can't worry me. Romans 1 17, yeah, I'm on that. Stay without works, no, I don't condone that. I put in work and it's on a double. I look at my troubles and make them struggle. It's nothing to it when the Lord do it. I get all through it and it's not a struggle. Whenever I'm flowing, the favor be shown. I'm shining and glowing. There's none of me. Cause I understand the assignment whenever he call me and put it in front of me. I know what more I like and I play dirt. With that thing, it's a lot of things I made worse. Because of Christ, I'm no longer out the head first. Now I just sit back, relax and watch my face. Now I believe God, watch my faith work. Watch it work. No matter what the odds, watch my faith work. Watch it work. Now I believe God, watch my faith work. Watch it work. No matter what the odds, watch my faith work. Watch my faith work. Watch my watch my faith work. 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 Wat
faith work. Watch my watch my faith work. Watch my faith work. Watch my watch my faith work. Watch my faith work. Watch my watch my faith work. Now listen, man. My faith talk is the word of God. That's it. Which clearly says the just shall live by faith. Uh huh. And in case I wasn't clear the first time, just in case. Let, let me say it again. Now I believe God, watch my faith work. They work. Now I believe God, watch my faith work. They work. Now I believe God, watch my faith work. They work. Now I believe God, watch my faith work. Yeah. 